Welcome back. After being up seven runs in game one of its area round softball, the Permian Panthers really let one get away last night in friendship it to friendship in Wolford. Now back at home for the rest of the series. Lady Mojo were all in to force a rubber game match. Permian friendship. Round two, what a series between these two after last night's monster comeback. This play describes the series tough and physical. No worries, though. Lady Tigers Kylie Arredondo, she'd be all right. Top of the second, Permian up 5 nothing off two home runs. Sam Clark strikes out Abby Pollock, leaving two Lady Panthers stranded on third and second. Permian, though, they've got an ace up their sleeve, and Elizabeth Craig whips a friendship batter in the top of the third. Later, Lady Tigers get on the board. McKaylee Johnson hits to second. Permian wants the double, but they'll overthrow it. Destina Vindy will wind up from going from third to home. She beats the throw. Friendship on the board, one zip, same inning. Runners on first and second. Arredondo grounds the center. Looks like a routine RBI single. How about that throw from Miranda Martinez home to Callie Holcomb. Lady Mojo say no ma'am, forcing in a win, eight to three. So that takes us to the game three. The ace Craig back in the circle for Lady Mojo. It's one nothing Permian. Craig gets Bria Farnall swinging. Callie Holcomb doesn't catch it though. It's a routine out at first. Not so much. The overthrown error causes McKaylee Johnson to slide home, but we're not at one. Top of the second, runners on first and second. Holcomb hits it full swing. Looks like the ball just travels a few feet. She'll be safe at first. The bases are loaded with one out. Two batters later, two out. Miranda Martinez, oh yes, it's coming. The grand slam, four run bomb over the left center. Her second home run of the day increases it to five to one, but friendship will once again rally to wind up winning the series, eliminating Permian seven to six. Looking at more West Texas playoff teams, Kermit Downs Mule Shoe eight to two, sweeping the series. Big Spring forces a game three with a game two win, five to four. Fort Stockton eliminating Sweet water in the game three rubber match Alpine dominating Littlefield again moving on 18 to 1 Comanche sweeping Cahoma 12 1 Abernathy they beat Marfa in a continued game from last night meaning Marfa swept Snyder eliminating Seminole 18 to 4 Clyde run rules Reagan County with a 12 2 win and six sweeping the Lady Owls not even a lightning delay could get in the way of Midland baseball from winning game one versus Arlington Lamar last night hosting another game in the tall city the Bulldogs they wanted to wrap up the series and be in the area round. Vikings, though, having some other plans. Lamar up 7-1 to one in the bottom fourth. Runners on first and second base. Court Hale, he's going to line drive to the hot corner. Ball heads to left field. The Dogs, they needed that one badly. Trimming Lamar's lead to five. That'll be the lone score in the fourth. So we go to the top of the fifth. The bleeding continues. Shane Bouchelle hits the chopper to third. Hits Jacob Mata. He thinks it's a foul, but actually... The contact makes it fair. Another Viking score. Lamar's going to force a game three, which is ongoing right now. We'll have highlights of that at 10. More Permian Basin by district round scores. Arlington Martin eliminating Odessa in game two, eight to one. Andrews beating Fabens 10 nothing in five innings for the sweep. Presidio over Slayton 14 nothing to force game three. Fort Stockton over Clint 7 to four. Brownfield over Kermit 20 to 14, forcing a rubber match. Big Spring falling to Pampa 10 to eight. Alpine over Denver City 11 to one and seven over San Elizario 11 to 1. The stakes couldn't be any simpler for Midland. Win the by district rubber match versus Arlington Lamar to face Amarillo next week or lose and call it a year. We're back at Christensen Stadium for game three. Blake Canis on the mound for the dogs. Bottom fourth 4 2. Midland with the bases juice. Two outs. Canis, yes, he can. Lamar swinging a miss, escaping the jam to end the inning. Huge play right there. Top of the fifth, a golden opportunity. Bases loaded, no out. Braden Scribner, the lazy R laser RBI into center field. Dogs increase the lead to three. The next batter, it's Luke Edmondson. Get some contact, hit barely, dodges Lamar shortstop. It goes to right. Edmondson with the RBI single, six to two. Midland would wind up scoring four in the fifth. Far from over, the Dogs will run rule the Vikes 13-2 in six innings, winning the by district championship. Some more scores from the ongoing by district games. Presidio over Slayton in game three, 6-2. They're headed to area. Brownwood eliminating Kermit 7-4 in game three. Alpine beating Denver City 7-6 in nine innings to take the series win. Pecos, they're over Mountain View 7-6. Eagles advancing to the area. Got a couple of late softball area round scores. Andrews beating Big Spring 4-2 in game three. Lady Mustangs take the series. Series, while Greenwood lost game three to one tough Bushland team 10 to one range red season has ended and in day two of the NJCAA region five tournament Howard they're staying alive eliminating Weatherford 13 to 12 that's a high scoring one Midland and Odessa 
They started their game at 9 p.m. OC currently up on MC 3 to 1 the bottom of the first. The game of baseball, much like life, is all about the ups and the downs. And for Midland, there's not there's not much to look up to lately. Only winning three of the past 10 ball games, hoping to turn that ship around with its homestand versus Frisco. Bottom of the first, riders up 3-2, bases loaded with two outs. Wade Kirkland, he's got to be a member of Cobra Kai because he's showing no mercy. The grand slam homer over right field. Midland pulls ahead 6-3. The next batter coming up, it's Chad Oberacker. He's going to be smacking it into deep left field. Matt Angle will score. Oberacker with the RBI double. Hounds are straight feasting on Frisco right now. Get this. Last we saw, it's 22 to 5 in the eighth inning. Insane. Across the parking lot at Grande Communications, their driller is hosting the El Paso Seminoles for its final home game of the season. West Texas is up 28 0 in the second. Drillers with the ball near the 40. Chris Ware to Permian grad Chris Miller. Chemistry is on point between these two, increasing the lead to 35 zip. Seminoles want to put something on the board before half. Stan alum Adam Montez picking off El Paso's quarterback. Drillers just destroying yet again another team via landslide 62 0. Guys, they're the MPFL American Conference League champ.